expected. I mean, yeah, okay, so Dexter's Lucina. I'm actually really interested. I, 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 everybody's sort of in agreement that Lucina is a very good character, mm -hmm. but nobody's playing her. She got no saw. She's boring. I, well, that, and that's, that, that, that's that's what everybody that's says, right? She's, she's like, oh, she's boring. too simple, too straightforward. But, I mean, if you want to win, put her on your roster. Yeah. You only have to play one stock. Dexter you know, is a fundamentally part. sound player, too. So having someone like Lucina, especially off the rip, and while Cloud is out, too, this is really good because Simplicity is key for her, and she can find a good edge guard if uh, Sharp out, like, misspaces too much and gets thrown off stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the big problem for Dexter in this matchup is going to be the fact that Cloud, just in terms of game statistics, right, that movement speed, the aerial drift, right, he's going to be able to outmatch Lucina in those aspects. But what Dexter does have is very, very consistent access to a wide threat zone, whereas Sharp kind of has to set that up for himself. And in the corner, that's going to be a very difficult situation for him to actually set up those threat zones. Yeah, and you see right now, like, Dexter's like, you see how he doesn't overcommit too much. He uses Nair out of shield, keeps it simple, now he's got the ledge shot, finds the jump. That bear was so swift. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. If you put Cloud in a corner, Cloud and Joker are very similar in the aspect that, like, if you put them in a corner, it's actually very difficult for them to set up those safe moves and to set up big combo starters. So Dexter played that idea very, very well. Early jump, though, will get him away from any Rob combos. And look at the spacing around the laser, too. Yeah, so well. Like, right now, Shrub definitely has a character who can make a massive comeback very quickly in Rob. But the fact is, simple, small hits like that, especially a character with a good out-of-shield option like that in air, really annoy Rob because they can't do the down tilts, they can't throw a gyro out, and Dexter's just shutting it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and picking really good opportunities for when he's going to drift in and drift out. You can see, look at the masterful control he has of Lucina's aerial drift. He's never letting Sharp get an oh. easy punish down there to forward smash. Dexter is cruise controlling right now, trying to look for another Trump. I mean, definitely, this is also one of the land of Robs. Like, you got Wadi out here, you have a lot of other great Robs out this way too, but oh, that dead. could be kill right there if you find the two frame. No, it didn't, it wasn't even necessary. The air dodge was too long, and Sharp gets himself at least a kill finally on the board. Yeah, and now with the Rob versus the Roy again, we're talking about the Rob factor, right? Getting an early kill. I know that Sharp knows how to set these up, but perfect there by Dexter. Really good recognition knowing that Sharp, that neutral air, was way too high to land safely, and especially on the parry. It was an easy confirm and puts Sharp onto the Joker for the last stock. Is his main character, right? But again, the spacing from Dexter is so good. I mean, we just saw this a second ago, too, where Yuri had an incredibly well-played Joker, and then the Roy just kept keeping it out, keeping mm. the pressure on. This is definitely the character you need if you're sharp to try and make this comeback right now, but you're right. The way that Dexter continuously just stays out of range, just continuously keeps spacing, you don't get an opportunity to get the hit because Dexter's not giving it to you. Yeah, no, both of these guys actually I'm looking at, I think that Sharp is realizing that game plan from Dexter and he's really starting to incorporate a lot of, okay, I know where your dash range is, right? What you can threaten me in just one burst movement. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna make sure that I can dash back and space out of that at any given moment. But again, Sharp dashing back to that ledge, gonna corner himself, a terrible place for Joker to be. Once he gets back to center stage, that's where he's at his most threatening. But Dexter just trying to control the stage with an iron fist. And you're at bar, like you're at bar time ranges now. You're at kill percent for, for Joker, excuse me, for uh, Roy. So start will be willing to take those trades. Because if you get a nice big hit, all of a sudden you got uh, Sharp off stage. Ooh. And so it's gonna get the hit. But now, pretty much, I don't think we're gonna see Arsen for the remainder of this. You got Wolf who's gonna win on the ledge traps, and he's at 95% already. So this is looking kind of rough. Yeah, main versus main right now. Sharp has really got to put on a lot of extra damage and maybe even try to find a Rebel's Guard, right? Of course you can find a kill without Arsen, especially against a character like Wolf if you get him off stage. But that's going to be the problem because Dexter's stage control has just been so good. Yeah, we see right now trying to find in there, trying to get the, the off smash out of shield too. <gasps> but, oh, wait, if those, if those guns happen, I mean, Sharp is finding a lot of hits, gets the forward air, going deep off, tries to read the jump in, gets Ooh. the control, doesn't get the drag down again, though, and that ends up not leading to the hit, but Sharp is getting back in the game. Yeah, he was putting himself in such an awkward situation, just that single hit fair, couldn't find the follow-up, and now it's anybody's game. One solid hit from Dexter, a backer or a smash attack can do it for him, but man, Sharp, once he gets this wolf at the ledge, it can be oh, anybody's force time. Force the air dodge, forcing him to land again. Dexter is now at a point where it seems like Sharp recognizes he sees red. He's trying to find the kill. Dash attack finally finds the mark. Dexter needs to find that near at ledge or that Abtel or something. <gasps> but gets by. Doesn't get a backer. He's going to back throw that. Shouldn't kill here. Yes, no, it, it is. Excuse me. It was a high enough percent. That is going to net Dexter game one. Sharp started making an excellent comeback, though. If, if I'm Dexter, I'm sweating. Yeah, Dexter should have been sitting there like, man, I had yeah, you see, you such see a the big eyes? lead with the Lucina. Yeah. <laughs> like, God damn. Man. <laughs> I can't believe I let him come back that close, right? The RC 
Sen came out, you know it was only one hit at that point before Dexter, you know, couldn't even close it out. And Arsene just kind of takes over sometimes. But he's going to stick with the same lineup. Sharp is going to switch it up, even though, I, honestly, I feel like, uh, you know, definitely keep the Joker. It did really well, but... I, I, I can I can see switching out a couple of them and especially bringing in the Sheik. The Sheik. The yeah, Sheik we haven't is seen the in. Sheik since Sheik Week on the literally online. Like the Sheik disappeared, but because it's Squatch Strike, we get to see it come back out. So this character is really good at, at the action. Lucina struggles in one of the few aspects against people who are really good at burst range. Has like very good interrupts, like uh, needles. So even though it's going to be very easy for Dexter to kind of outspace get single hits, once Sheik gets in on you, it's actually very annoying for Lucina. Mm -hmm. And especially if Sharp can do the damage that he needs to do. Man, he went so deep just trying to get this Lucina stock done as quickly as possible because again we saw how much work that Lucina put in in that game one but yeah Sharp is definitely going to be counteracting Dexter's very stage control heavy approach with this Sheik like you're saying that burst movement is so big but especially being able to safely pressure Lucina's shield where aside from that dolphin slash she can really struggle out of shield sometimes yeah as we're seeing right here like we saw that early lead going to Dexter he got a couple of few hits and now granted Lucina's definitely gonna kill significantly earlier you get a rage F smash at ledge that's kill but Ooh. the edge guard you only have so many options to avoid does get by that but Nia gotta go for the re-grab here and actually gets mm. up with the get up attack that was very smart in that spot because you knew uh, Sharp was gonna swing yeah buffering that immediately and getting some invincibility on on your side, got through the down tilt, but yeah, Sharp just put the pressure on him off stage so deep that Sharp, he is going to take that first stock lead. What can Dexter do with the Roy now? That was the jump. Now, if Roy does have a lot of scary things that Sheik doesn't want to deal with. That early KO power, having to be up close going for combos, and then you put yourself in sweet spot range of Roy. But we, you know, we've talked about this in the past where it's kind of like Sheik and Joker essentially the same with different toolkits. You do not want Shark, uh, Shark to be having access to two characters like this as you go on. Dexter needs to delete the Sheik ASAP. Mm -hmm. and we're starting to see a very similar situation to that last game, right? Where it's like, oh no, this Lucina can actually roll, right? But the same thing is going for the Sheik, especially with some Rage. All of a sudden you have access to some earlier kills and even some setups off of that tipper down tilt, right? Dexter needs to be very careful about how he's playing around these platforms because that can give Sharp a very, very early I'm kill. I'm sorry, is this Guilty Gear? Just wake, <laughs> oh, just wake up, grab. It, it, it worked out for Sharp. Does it get hit by the right hit up there that could have led to a dash against a up tilt confirm. So unfortunately for Dexter, where we talk about all the perfect hits, finally Ooh. finds the trip without the tech in place there. So finds the dash attack, but the Diddy Kong in this one, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen the Diddy Kong of late. It could be very scary while with Roy, especially with banana in hand. Yeah, I think having the banana in your hand is going to be the most important part for Sharp, just to make sure that Dexter doesn't get too comfortable, right, utilizing that burst range that Roy has, because Diddy Kong really thrives on controlling mid burst ranges against other characters. Man, as long as that banana is not a factor, Dexter will still be able to put up a really good fight. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing for Diddy Kong is Sword uh, loses to Banana, but Diddy Kong loses to very, very good hitboxes like that Sword. So it's it, it needs to win on a ledge trap here if I'm sharp. Like, you need to get the kill. Uh, it, it control Dex, because Dex has brought this back to even so fast. One, oh, two, three, yeah. but all out of range to not confirm. I love Smash 4. <laughs> 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 I, I, I've gotten in a time I mean, machine, and Dexter is going to be launched back in time to that wolf, hoping to replicate the clutch that he had in that game one so that he can 2-0 Sharp, because if this goes to a game three, guy like Sharp can make a lot of quick adaptations. Absolutely, and we're seeing now the monkey flip kick coming in to kind of change things up. I, I, I like the fact that you spec the, uh, the narrative don't try to go challenge that. Wolf's love to swing out of disadvantage that spot. That is a short hop jump call out though. Boom. And that's twice now he got away with using the banana as an aggressive recovery option. Though. Yeah, uh, we've seen Sharp do the banana to cover himself getting back on the ledge twice. We see Tweak do a ton of that too, right? You just have to respect him. You don't get to be comfortable setting up the ledge. Sephiroth does a lot of this too. Back throw, not going to be enough. You see how much that rage really does for Wolf on that back throw. No tech is going to be a big setup for Sharp. And now you gotta avoid the ledge trap here. Sharp calling out the jump with the short hop forward there. The jump's already used, so you gotta deal with what is the follow-up. Sharp trying to read the aggressive approach from Dexter, but recognizing, oh, you're on the platform, okay, I'm gonna swing. Man, and look at the control. Speaking of platforms, man, Sharp's control around that area has been so good. Where normally Diddy Kong is so good at covering flat stage, but he has been really locking down Dexter from taking control of the air. Diddy Kong's just so good mm -hmm. at air to airing, right? Those buttons are just so safe. Yeah, it's so good. And something that is kind of to the detriment of Dexter right now. Oh, if that spike hit box. Oh, almost gets a trip, but the death tech comes in. And now we're seeing a 98% versus the Joker. What I was going to say was Dexter definitely has been better early game, but Sharp late game. So far, it seems like it's 
it's been relatively the same factor here. And I think I agree with you heavily. If this goes to game three, Sharp's gonna just even more. So Dexter, I mean, obviously it's cliche to say, but you really need to shut this down now. Yeah, no, I mean, for Dexter right now, the way that you gotta think about this right now is all right. Uh, you don't think about how Joker can, you know, get that R sound on deck, right? You have to think about, all right, what I need right now is a bloop and a blast. I need one good combo, and then I just need to get right into that back air. This could be his opportunity, again, putting Joker off stage or putting him in the corner, a really bad place for him to be. These back airs are so scary, but Dexter is not flinching. Yeah, he's not falling for any of it right now. Tries to get back into cover to landing. The guns are gonna at least help him get down safely. But not gonna die. Yeah. Oh! Uh, that was a, that was an, a good idea by Dexter, knowing that the counter was going to come out from uh, Sharp, but unfortunately just did not have the distance to make it back with the Firewolf. That, that was excellent option, just a little bit too short out of range to get back in, but really good adjustments from Sharp. I like the switch over to uh, the Sheik. It worked out really good. Uh, it kind of gave that answer to Lucini he was looking for, whereas with the Rob before, yeah, he found a couple hits here and there, but the Rob was just getting outplayed. And mm -hmm. I, I think the switch up to that lineup was really good. I don't think we're seeing a switch from Dexter whatsoever. No, Dexter's definitely going to stick with the same lineup over and over, and I would expect the Sheik to make a comeback, right? But yes, the Wolf from Sharp. I saw that Sharp played a lot of Wolf when he was uh, back here. Was yes. it at the comeback, right? Uh, yeah, actually, just early on in this game, too, we all knew, like, Sharp, was always a, a very talented player on the come up, but never really hit his breakout moment in like Smash 4 through New England and stuff. But then in this game, the Wolf is one of the early characters that gave him that rise. And then he switched to Sheik. So this character is definitely one of his best characters in his king. And I think it's gonna work really well here in the, uh, what looks like they're gonna be going for a Wolf Diddle at the end. Yeah, which is I think actually a really good call by Sharp to put the Joker in second, because if he's able to establish a lead with that Joker, I feel like Wolf Dittles are always just so trade heavy that if you go into that Ditto with a lead, Lead, mm -hmm. you're going to be in a really, really good position. But he has to get there first. The Sheik did really well against the Lucina last time, but off the bat right now, it's actually Dexter taking the lead, and a couple of pretty unsafe commits from Sharp, especially on the shield, is where he's getting punished right now. Sharp, uh, Dexter's doing a good job this time round, too, where he switched up for a lot of nares out of shield before. He's been doing a lot of short hop jump fair checks with Lucina, but he is first off, Ooh. he was forced off stage after that trade, and that could not have been a better situation for Sharp to walk away with that because Dexter was really cruising on that first stock. Mm -hmm. And now he's going to have to play at the even game at best. He had the read on the roll, but he was just way too early. And now Sharp will once again get to play with this Sheik with a lot of rage and on a fresh stock on his opponent can definitely build up a ton of damage. And look at him. This time, I think that Sharp has recognized that he's getting punished a lot on shield, like you just saw right there, right? The big commits were a problem for him. So that's why I like that empty landing in front of the shield we saw earlier mm -hmm. to bait something out of Dexter and then punish afterwards. But because of that, now that big over commit will put him onto the Joker. And this is where Sharp is putting all of his chips, right? He has got to take a big lead now. Yeah, I will say, at least for Dex, like he's got to be like, if, if I'm looking at any matchups where I'm happy to see the Joker, it's it's with this Roy right now. The Roy is what got a lot of damage before in first game and the second game. So let's see if he can continue it. That's already a big damage call right there. He's gonna get him the 90%. No Arsen just yet, but a drag down or a first hit near into up smash probably or down smash at this point at ledge probably kills. Yeah, I mean, same goes for Dexter too. I mean, it's just one solid hit, maybe off of the jab or something. These two are both just swinging immediately out of shield, but catching that jump away. And all of a sudden, Dexter, like we were talking about earlier before this game started, right? He's going to get to go into that Wolf Ditto with the big lead, unless Sharp can even it up and make it a one stock apiece situation. Yeah, if you can find his ledge trap here, just misses the timing on the F tilt. It was a good delay from Dexter, but Dexter needs to get as much damage on the board right now. You want to make sure that when you're getting to those near trades, when you're getting to the, uh, the lead traps, you win out. Ooh. He's catching these landings. Not that she jumps, but the landings over and over again. Reach the spot dodge, come on. And things are getting really bad for Sharp. Holy cow. Yeah, Dexter has honed in on Sharp's disadvantage right now when he wants to fade in, when he wants to get away. He is reading the pendulum of momentum perfectly right now. And it's just a couple of solid hits away for Dexter to do this. Will he be able to do it with the Roy? It's sure looking like it at the moment. That Sharp just cannot find his hit, especially with all this rage on deck. Straight hit, F till a uh, jump call out back do. here again. That back throw will do it though. This is at. Oh, that was really quick. Uh, loaded for the well, wolf. Wolf is already loaded. Properties were already on that. <laughs> oh, real the tech chases. Oh, trying to get up, like maybe a hard beat spot dodge on there to get the grab. But now Dex reverses it. 
And that's a, that's a mix-up that we've seen Sharp do a lot on the landing. He makes it look like he's going to the platform, but then he goes right over to near the ledge. And look at the way these two are just being very meticulous about their landings, because they know that one bad move on shield, if it's just a little bit punishable, Wolf can take care of things. Yeah, up smash out of shield is on deck for Dexter at this point, so uh, Sharp has to be very careful where he swings. Uh, knowing right there, don't go for that. That's safe at that point. Oh, the high recovery on it actually catches Sharp off guard instead of going for the ledge. He goes up stage. He doesn't get. He doesn't die at that point if he goes for up smash or a punish like that right there. I've smashed.